Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for popping in. I'm an intuitive tarot card reader and we're going to be looking at your current energy. So uh, this is something that Spirit wants you to know um, about you, about your person and anything that I feel is important for you um, to show up in this reading. We're just going to go with the flow. We'll be intuitive and let, um, let Spirit tell us what is happening for us so if you've clicked on this reading this is for you um and we'll see what comes up so before i begin drop a like on this vid if you enjoy it and also you can subscribe to the channel that would be amazing um i'd love to have you join my little youtube fam otherwise let's let's have a look and see what's coming up in, in this current energy right now right at this very moment as things stand for you. Okay, I'm definitely getting that there's someone here around you that wants to make you happy. And I feel like there's definitely some communication that's coming from this person. We have an angel here. Um, and I feel like there's some news. Okay, so there's some news coming in. Now, it could be from the universe here as well. But I am seeing like a message that's popping up here for you. So there is, it's a divine message. So it's something you need to know. Uh, and I feel like you've been waiting for it. Because what's next to it is the hangman. So I feel like you've sort of been waiting for this message or waiting for this news. And you've kind of been maybe a bit depressed. You might have been pushing people away. You might be in a bit of a funk. It's almost like you can't function properly or you can't think clearly until you get this message or until you get this news. Now, I do feel like... If you are waiting on this text or this message or this call, I feel like it is coming and I feel like it's fated to come. I feel like there's something about divine timing. So, you know, this wasn't a delay on purpose is what I want to say for those that have been sort of left in a sense of you've kind of been left hanging or you've been ghosted or there's been no response or no follow up towards the situation. I feel like there's a reason okay you might not know the reason yet this is you know that's the universe's domain we've got the angel so this is god this is spirit and i feel like it's some news that's going to free you or it's some communication that's going to sort of bring you to life um, because these people are emerging from the coffin so i feel like this this is going to breed new life into a connection or this is going to sort of make you come alive again so whatever it is it's good news okay um and i feel like i feel like there is little signs from god or from spirit you've got the four cherubims there's lots to do with angels um the bird the bird is a messenger Okay, so I'm getting Gemini vibes for some of you. Um, and also the six, six of cups that's come up, that's Gemini qualities. So, and Gemini love to speak. They're ruled by Mercury. So I feel like, I feel like it's going to really restore your balance. I don't know your energy levels. What's going on here? I mean, I know I felt it right now. Like I just feel, you know, there's, there's, there's something that, something that we're waiting on that we need to sort of keep us going it's almost like that little gentle push or just that little green light from the universe or something from this person that we need to keep functioning and it's almost like we're depending on it um we're depending on it to get that balance again so things have been things have been shifted And I feel like there's someone that's going to come through here. There's a situation where you sort of, 
I feel like you were relying on someone, you were reliant on them, and they didn't pull through, they didn't do what you wanted them to do. But I feel like this is going to be exposed, and I think somehow they're going to they're gonna come through and show a message of support here because we have this arch and it's it's a support thing now six of pentacles is often read as a taurus so there might be like and and taurus is a very like strong and sturdy energy it doesn't matter if you're dealing with one or not or this is the person you're waiting on but i'm getting because Taurus can pull through um, they're all about the physical like they're all about showing not so much telling they're more about doing than imagining so what I'm getting is that there's someone who's going to show you something through their behavior and it's something to do with their strength or it's something to show you strength could be how strong they feel for you could be how much they want you to rely on them it's like this message of strength that's coming through. But I get that this has happened before in the past because the world looks to the left, so does the Seven of Pentacles. These are both, okay, left facing. I feel like it's towards the past. Hmm. And Six of Cups says past life connections can also be in someone you've got a history with or something that they've done in the past. I don't know, for some reason I see you dwelling on the past or thinking about it. It's almost like you've been through this cycle before. Maybe not a cycle because the world isn't cycles per se like the moon I think but I feel like it's something you're kind of familiar with you've been there you've done this this it's it could even be like a deja vu kind of moment it's something that feels very familiar words a person a connection an experience it's something that you sort of have been through before whether in this lifetime or in a past lifetime it's happened before I do feel like I'm getting the words prove, prove themselves, themselves or prove yourself. So I feel like there's, I feel like you're relying on this connection, this, this message to prove yourself. Or you're waiting for someone to sort of prove themselves through, through what they're doing, but through that connection, it's almost like you don't believe it. You know, like we don't believe things until we see it whereas you should be believing it before you see it this is huge i feel like there is an epiphany connected to this as well um because the light that's on the hangman here and it could come through this message i do feel like they're connected but i see you in a happier place i see you in a much happier place and i feel like okay you've waited for this it'll come it'll happen and i think you're going to be in a in a better place i see you your perception and your mood will shift because of it but it's like you're not letting it happen until you get that green light until you get that confirmation until whatever this is um pops up here for you Hmm. I'm getting someone wants your help. Someone's reaching out as well. Uh, they want your help with the situation here. And I feel like the, you will be in a position to help. Now, it could be you. You might be waiting for this help. And like this energy is coming forward, perhaps. But there is this, I'm getting like support. I'm getting like someone wants to support you. Someone wants to be there for you. They want to help you move things forward. And this is their way of doing it. But they're, they're going to 
show you through their actions rather than through their words. Maybe this message is different to what I'm getting than the actual scenario that's going to play out. I do feel like there's a message and I do feel like I'm getting an act of service. So it's something that someone will do for you and it's their way of showing you they still care. You're still on their mind. They've got love for you. They've got respect for you. Um, can be Taurus or Libra, I think, with the Six of Pentacles because of the uh, scales. Taurus and Libra are both ruled by Venus, so strong romantic feelings from this person or their, it's their Venus energy. Maybe someone with Venus in Taurus or Libra, look out for that person, uh, or an Earth, uh, an Earth, Venus, or possibly a Gemini. So Gemini in Venus... Uh, or an earth sign Taurus Capi Virgo in Venus this is the person that I think is trying to come through in this reading and they're trying to come through for you they're trying to pull through for you I'm also getting like take take me back take me back there someone wants to revisit something a revisitation of the past or it's sort of like a trip down memory lane um but it's like i don't know i'm picking up a vibe where you sort of want something that's happened in the past and it's almost like you want that moment again but it's so specific it's a very specific thing that you're wanting to happen again um and it makes me think of the quote you never you never know the value of a moment till it becomes a memory it's a bittersweet kind of energy i'm not gonna lie there's something here that feels and, you know, we go through that. Like, I had that the other day and I just had a thought to myself, like, there was just an image I had in my mind and I wanted to repeat it and I wanted to be back in that moment. And I just thought to myself, I don't think I truly valued that moment. I only value it now that I look back on it. But it's, you know, it's, an, it's a bittersweet kind of energy. So I think there might be a moment where you're having that. And it might be like a deja vu thing that happens here and, and, and it reactivates it with you. Um, it might be that you're missing someone. And, you know, it's very possible we're all energy. So it's very possible this person is missing you. And you might be feeling these things strongly, more strongly than you previously, than you previously did. But I feel like there is some sort of reflection that's happening here as well. But it could be very much so that someone is reflecting over you. Now, I'm getting quite a bit of water. So, six, the ace, the ten. I don't know. There could be a message that there might be a, someone who's very emotional, um, heavily dominated by Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or there's someone who's emotionally still linked to you. Now, some of you have been hung up with this person as well, so it's a, it's like you're both still connected in a way. And I don't know if you needed some time away to sort of let things be and sort of balance each other out. Like individually, you need to find, you, need, you both needed to find balance within yourselves before you came back together. Um, that could be the case and then suddenly you you like you find yourself like why am i missing this person like why am i suddenly waiting for them to text me why am i waiting for them to hear from me like uh, um waiting for them to message me like it's it'll happen very suddenly and that's because i feel like it's a more of a subconscious like activation of feelings more than anything um but i do see that coming up Okay, for some of you, there's definitely a situation thing where things are getting more serious. You're venturing towards that Ten of Cups energy. Okay, things are, this is a big milestone that you've either recently re approached or will be approaching or in the process of approaching. And there's someone who is kind of sliding away from the situation. And I feel like that's the Knight of Wands. Doesn't have to be a fire sign. Could be. To me, that Knight of Wands is like such an avoidant kind of energy. Not that he's avoiding love, but look at his armor. He's scared of love, okay? He's scared when things happen too quickly or even if things happen slowly, he's quick to leave or quick to turn or she, could be she. However this energy is in your life, um, it's almost like 
it's kind of like the one that got away but not entirely i still feel like they're in your life but they might have turned their back on you as things got a little bit more serious um and i feel like for some this person there's something in their past that they have to go back to and fix could be like they need to work on their past it could even be a relationship um it's like especially if they've sort of i don't know there might be someone here that's going to go back to an ex um you know it happens it's crappy but it happens um it could be someone who needs to sort of heal from a previous relationship as in not necessarily get over someone but heal from it in a way that's um that they're not letting that drama from that relationship or what they felt or whatever they got betrayed they got hurt they got cheated on they don't want it to interfere with your relationship so that's why if you maybe notice this for some of you this person like kind of freaking out when these bigger things are happening just try to be patient with them you know talk to them ask them tell me what's going on you know i've noticed you've been a bit you know you've been a bit distant and you know, um, I want to help, you know, it, can I do anything to sort of make you feel better? I feel like a sense of comfort, um, but in a, in a, um, in a very gentle way, six of cups is like that gentleness, ace of cups is a gentleness. I think if you're going to blow up at this person, they're probably going to, um, you know, put up their walls even more. Um, and they're probably not going to open up to you as much as they want. So I feel like the way you need to approach this person or approach this whatever this is your concern i feel like if it's done more gently because i feel like this person is is sensitive and they've got these flames which tells me there's they're sensitive or they could be angry about a situation or they're quick to anger so if you kind of have that personality you're dealing with right now maybe that's what's coming up I also feel like you're going to be shown something. The world card is telling me something's going to like be shown to you. Uh, and it's something that you need to see or hear or experience exactly where you are in your life right now. So it could be the sign from the universe that I sort of touched on before, but I feel like it's something that I see you seeing. Um, I think you're seeing it with your eyes though. You're seeing it play out. You're seeing it in, real time and i feel like there's some hidden meanings behind this that may may not make sense right now but there's some it's almost like the spirit or the universe has seeded what you're seeing because something's going to come from this it's not so much like a forewarning um it's almost like it's a guide of or a, like a glimpse of what's to come. So I think it's actually a positive thing. But I think from what you're seeing, it'll it'll play out. So that's really interesting. But there is a new chapter here. You know, that Ace is telling me your cup is about to overflow. So I think you've been waiting for this with the hangman and like, the Ace of Cups just trumps the hangman. So I feel like the fact that that's come up just, it's showing me there is a new chapter. And I think it's something to do with the promise. I'm getting the word promise coming up. So it might be something you promised yourself and somehow spirit is guiding you to it. It might be that someone is promising you their life their time their love their energy they're, they're making like a promise to you but it's it's super super genuine um and i'm getting at something that really has the power to make you absolutely ecstatic so you've got something really yummy here coming okay you've got something really delicious that i think you've been wanting to attract and you have and this is spirit that's bringing this to you so it's really, really quite powerful. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed this reading. I do hope 
it's um, it's been helpful towards your situation. Um, if you would like a private reading, please feel free to email me. I am currently providing those. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you on board my little YouTube family. Um, feel free to send through any reading suggestions if you like. Um, otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you all soon. So lots of love and angel blessings and bye for now.